guys, what's going on? This is Hubfoot, and we are back with some more Gone Home. We are working our way through it. Boy, what a what a game this is turning into. I uh, I just read that thing that I couldn't read before. Woo! Steamy. Uh, no wonder. Oh my God! You stupid storm! Shut shut up! So much thunder. Um, no wonder. Uh, my character that I'm playing as was like, nope, not reading it. Nope, not reading it again. Um. Oh boy, I called it though, basement. Um, but uh, as I said, the, the I guess they eventually moved to. Okay, I'm assuming that's a game glitch. You see all the way over there where it's black, and it wasn't black, but then it was black. Hmm, that's creepy. Real creepy. I thought there was a person over there at first. Um. Yeah. Anywho, it's the, um... What was I saying? Yeah, anyway, I called it. That's all I was saying. The, um... Uh... God, this is such a horrible intro. What am I doing? Hey, guys, I'm Hobfoot. Um, and this is... We're playing Gone Home. It's a walking and reading simulator where you try and piece together the lives of your family and try to figure out just WTF is going on here. And, um, basically, it seems to mainly evolve around, um, our sister, who somehow has a diary or journal that plays every time we interact with something. And it seems to be directed directly to our character. Um, it's usually addressed to Katie, who's me, this person. Anywho, it's, um, what's really freaking me out is that I never have any reflection in any of these windows. It's nighttime. You would have, with this light, you would have some reflection in the windows, just saying. I guess I'm a vampire person. Um, these are really fancy doors. I really like them. Is there enough room for that door to slide into? That door is bigger than that section of wall. Huh. Um. Oh, a little closet. But yeah, it seems so. Our, it's mainly about um, our sister and uh, her discovering this uh, lesbian relationship that is she's confused about and excited about. Uh, the mom who's getting a promotion who's angry and might be having an affair and also the dad who may have been diddled by his uncle here in this basement or maybe the help even maybe that's what that was down there with the i don't know it's very ugh, i don't like it um what do we got here a note shoebox this skull was the Sam. This skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks American. I love it. Merry Christmas, miss you, love Lonnie. P.S. Treasure it always. I don't see the skull. Was it in her room? Maybe she took it with her. Everybody seems to have disappeared. My theory so far is that um, Lonnie's off, and Sam ran away to go after her, but. Um, Everybody else knows as well, so they're after S Sam or something. I don't know. I really like these light switches. I didn't realize the way they were working originally. I thought they were like little twisty dial knobs. But that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, I imagine we're going to get a lot of stuff over here. Purse. Pamphlet. Can I? Nope. Put it there with the linens. Uh-oh. Manual for Forestry, Research, and Education. It's at Kelma County. Take care of our forest. This looks like a government manual. Awful, awful fax machine technology. Or like, super DIY thing. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More 
for then more fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Ooh. I think I'm I think I might have been on to something. Another one of the postcards I sent. I'm so excited to see it. I mean, I'd love to go to some of these places, but I think at this rate, with the state of the world, I'm I'm pretty much never going anywhere. God, no butts in heaven. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. Wow, can you imagine all the money that they spent and having, having had so much that it's lasted a thousand plus years? Anyway. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh, Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. <laughs> Next stop, Barcelona. Ooh, calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a fool, probably. Love, Katie. Well, that seems fun. Another zine. Oh, that one that they... Uh, they just make a whole bunch of them? Oops, knocking that glass over. What's the slip? Disciplinary referral, Samantha Greenbrier. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Cost to student parents, out-of-school suspension. Really? That's inappropriate material? Uh, I don't get that, but okay. Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone... Did you misspell privileges? Privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. Yeah, like handing out magazines. And clearly, once you're privileges are reinstated we can't allow you to have your bedroom oh <laughs> oh guess they really got found out they said some close calls but uh um i guess uh, they did get found out and clearly once your privileges are reinstated we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while lonnie is at the house this is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen. have to happen again. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. She-Ra. They saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. Parents, I right? I prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Huh. That makes more sense with the title. Very long phase. I was really expecting more from this closet. It seems a little shallow. That space it's given, but all right. See, now I see secret hidden compartments and doors everywhere. I'm like, oh, there's one. I bet something's hidden over there. Why am I grabbing all the cutlery? I don't know. At least not working. Hey, work, you stupid light. Anything here? Man, how do you just have clutters of paper paper like this? Like, if you got, like, a couple piles, all right. But this is, like, ugh. It's like a garbage pile of paper. I say as I throw something onto the ground. <laughs> you know, garbage pile. The gits. Uh, 
Oh, I thought it'd be like a hiding liquor bottle or something. How do I get out there? Seems like a fun place to be. I want to be with the plants. Grab crumpled manuscript. Here, let's go to where there's some light. There we go. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh, this is Terry's. Oh, I can't read it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well. She seems to be supportive still, even though she's probably feeling up on a uh, co-worker, bro. Another light switch here. How do I turn that guy on? There's no wall switch. Hey, smoke detector. Hello, plant. And light that wants... Oh, there it is. I walked right past it. Of course I did. Aha, ha ha Except that thing is just, like, completely on its own. All right. Well, let's, um... So we checked out the dining room. I think there's a laundry room and the kitchen and something else. This part of the house feels a little... It's a really big house. I'm trying to think, like... I don't know how it is for y'all, but when I'm like, oh, let me go over here and do something, it's like two steps, and I'm in, like, one room to the next, and be like, okay, this is a slightly different room. This place, it's like, here, let me take a couple minutes and walk to the other side of the house and be in a completely different place. All right, so there's going to be another CD someplace. Ah, there it is. Ah, pack of cards. A hetchy? A, oh, a catchy. Checkbook. Uh, what's this book? The Accidental Savior. Another unknown dimension literature discovery. I think this is a different one than we saw before, right? Chipping label. Hey, Newark. Well, that's pretty close. Well, that's a pretty close. about as close as everything else is here. <laughs> um, let's read all the stuff on here. Invitation. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Pattermock. Sunday the 4th, June 1995, at half past four o'clock in the afternoon, sunset, Lutheran Church, Seaside, or wait, sir, oh no, I can't turn it around. Same schedule. Working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7. Saturday, 12 to 6. Like, I can just, like, go into the freezer. And this is an old school freezer. Like, the wood trim and everything. Oh, man, that's funny. Even put frozen, uh, frozen spinach. 40 calories. How much high fructose corn syrup's in that? Frozen corn. That's right, guys. You thought you knew the depths to which I would poke and snoop through everything. You have no clue. More corn. Oh, I feel like that's way too far. Is that ice cream? Sayers Finest Cookie Caramel. Ooh. I want ice cream now. Hey, get in there. Or I'm just going to let it melt. Oh, this is so far down. Nothing in the drawer. Nothing in the drawer. Apparently, don't invite me over to your house. I'm going to go through every little... Th I'm going to read every label that you've got. Oh, so we know what date it is, kind of. June 5th. Used by June 5th, so it's the end of May, beginning of June. Hmm. Best for your table. Cola. Cola. 
triple filtered carbonated water. It doesn't even list sugar in here, let alone high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, I'm that guy that always looks for like, where's the high fructose corn syrup and stuff. Believe me guys, it's everywhere. Everything. Ketchup, high fructose corn syrup. Worcestershire sauce, high fructose corn syrup. Soy sauce, high fructose corn syrup. Ooh, cheese. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it says slices. <laughs> it's not real cheese. Why is there two milks? It's one like... And why is everything just on the shelf in there? Like, seriously, put some on like the door. That's where it's supposed to go. Oops, apparently I threw that on the ground. Well, welcome to the 20 minute episode on the uh, fridge. Who puts a banana in the fridge? What the fuck is wrong with you? Got mugs. Might be bugs on some of your mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. And books. Man, these people love books. I ain't never seen books in a kitchen. And my mom's a librarian, so, you know. Okay, some mushrooms. I mean, she's got books stacked up everywhere. They ain't in the kitchen. Samantha and... Is that supposed to be Danielle? Daniel? Oh, this is an old one. Oh, didn't she have a friend, Daniel? Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on a on an adventure. But they went to the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. Daniel said, are you scared? So Samantha said, no. Are you? They hadn't... Oh, wait. They... Laughin and La oh, laughed. They laughed and went more into the bad part. Then they went to a part there was never there before. That was never there before. And then and there was a ship, a pirate ship. Oh, I turn pages. There we go. On an ocean, Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you'll be the first mate. Daniel said, I'm captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. Now, that's the first iteration of a oh, little picture. Look, even as a little boy staring at her ass. What's wrong with you, kid? Um, Daniel finally oh. came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. Guess the power went out. There I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. I'm going to put their dishes away for them. Oh, I was close. At least... When I'm snooping through the house, I can be, you know, useful. Get in the stupid... There we go. Come on now. Can't get any closer. Ha! Ah. See, if there's no challenges in a video game, I'm gonna make my own. 
Ooh. No! Damn it, I gotta get two back in there. Damn it. Oh, can I open the drawer? Oh, that helps. Ah, it's weird. How do I make it straight? What Sam's parents want to know? You just can't do it, people. Just can't do it. Oh, I really wanted to count that as good enough, but... All right, listen here, you bitch of a plate. Fuck it, close enough. Man, all these greasy-ass pizza boxes they leave all over the place. Checkbooks all over the place, piles of paper. Are they redoing the kitchen? They must be redoing the kitchen, because this is like the most haphazard collection of, like, stuff just strewn about. Apparently they eat a bunch of salad and chips and something that requires ketchup, but otherwise not much else. Brand fiber. Honey snaps. Gotta have my snaps. Hippos. What the fuck? Oh, I can zoom in on stuff. That's supposed to be Fruit Loops. And some cake mix. You always need cake mix. Ooh, can I sweep? No, but I can look at it? Alright. Well, whatever, I guess. Salad dressing hiding in the background there. Another phone. Ooh, a letter. Congratulations on your new position. Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier, having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest, and very much look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you at your new desk in the State Forestry Office, 8 a.m. Oh, desk job now. That seems like that would be hard. Nothing falling out of these guys. Man, binders everywhere. What's with you people? And another telephone book. Two of them, from the looks of it. Oh, they took an anniversary trip. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Oh. So, perhaps... Rick's wedding can't make it send regret regrets... Um, charity junk pickup basement at noon, forest loop trail hike event, Sam's dentist, Chuck's potluck. Uh, so it's the milk goes bad here, so we're probably in this date somewhere. I don't remember when exactly. Um, but they might be on their anniversary trip and nobody knows Sam's left. That could be a thing. All right, so I don't feel like we didn't do as much this episode, but uh, that's it for us uh, today. We're a little over time by a smidge. Thanks so much for tuning in and um, appreciate you coming here to the Brat Cat channel. Let us know. That, man, these are some 90s ass cab cabinets too. Not 80s. Or worse. Oh, man, it just it reminds me of something you'd see in an old house in the 90s. Like, oh, this house was built 30 years ago, and it's still all original. Yeah, I can tell. Um, anyway, the, um, and, like, dumb things like this. I don't understand things like this. Like, okay, it's got this weird, like, form to it, but its function just doesn't, like, put a regular big, huge-ass set of cabinets there, or, like, leave it blank, or put regular-ass shelves. I don't know. Anyway. The 90s form function aesthetic thing was, like, not great. It's like, we definitely want form over function. Yeah, shit. Anyway. Oh, I never closed the... 
close the dishwasher. There we go. Um, anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, guys, to the Brat Cat channel and uh, hanging out with me here. If you like this, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. If you just like to hit the dislike button, you know how that works. If you have any questions, comments, letters of resignation, or other such queries, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you, um, what am I saying? If you want to get a hold of me, you can talk, contact me directly on Twitter at Hopfoot, H-O-B-F-O-O-T-E. If you want to talk about books, games, movies, TV, you want to talk about how awful your uh, boss is, or if you want to talk about all this cool nostalgia we're seeing through all this house, like, that's pretty dope. You can hit me up. Um, maybe I'm missing something. I don't remember. My grandparents have a dishwasher that looks kind of like this, except it was on coasters, so it would, like, move around the, the kitchen. But it was, like, from the 60s or 70s or something. I don't know. This looks hella like an 80s microwave or something. Anyway, um, that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and peace out, Girl Scouts.